Hey everyone, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2024 GMC Sierra 2500, we're going to be checking out the Reese Goose Ball Kit for trucks with the OEM prep package. So it's pretty convenient uh, that these late model trucks, a lot of them are coming with these prep packages. It makes using a gooseneck hitch or even a fifth wheel for that matter really convenient, you know, because it just drops right into place. Don't really have to install anything. Um, so there's several different gooseball kits available for the Sierra, and so what we're going to focus on today is checking this one out and kind of comparing it to the others that are out there. With this particular kit, it's going to be good for 30,000 pounds. Uh, that's the gross trailer weight rating. So just make sure to check your truck's owner's manual and uh, you know, make sure it can handle that amount of weight safely. And it's going to have a 2 and 5 16 diameter ball, which is pretty much the norm when it comes to gooseneck trailers so you should be in good shape there and with this kit you know there's a couple things that i like about it and a couple things that i wish were a little bit different we'll go ahead and start out with the ball so the way this is going to work is it has this mechanism in here and you rotate it like that and that lets you pull the ball out and put it back in you turn it, it locks down and stays in place and so when you have a trailer hooked up to this you know it's a good design in, in this regard where this is never going to come undone you know there's no way with the trailer on it that this is going to come and turn like this and and uh, be able to be released on the same note and i don't know this you know for sure this is just a thought that i could foresee happening is with this little mechanism here you know, I, I could just foresee grease and debris and stuff getting caked up in here and might be difficult to operate once you, you know, a year or two down the road or you get some miles on it, you might have to fight with that a little bit. You know, that's just my thought. Um, and, you know, you end up getting your hands dirty too by having to operate that as compared to some of the other ones. So, for example, here, I have the Kurt ball, and it's a pretty similar design. I honestly like the mechanism on the Reese a little bit better. Um, it's almost easier to operate. So Kurt's pretty similar. Not super crazy about that mechanism either, but I'm sure it works just fine. The one that I like the most is made by B&W. So this one is almost completely different, right? It has this big handle here. When you drop that in, this handle locks down and keeps the ball in place. Um, so I really don't foresee, you know, there's no little openings in here for, for stuff to get uh, caked up in. And there's no way you're, you're uh, going to not be able to get this out, at least in my opinion. You know, you got good leverage there to pull it out. You got a good handle on it so you don't get your hands dirty or uh, anything along those lines. We'll talk about the safety chain uh, openings now. And I do like this, this setup here. Uh, the way these are going to work, you'll have a little piece that you grab, turn, and that lets you pull it out. Uh, when you go to put it in, you don't even have to mess with that. You just drop it down in there, rotate it, and locks it in place. Um, so no extra parts or pieces or nothing like that you have to worry about keeping track of. And I like that these are a little bit thinner in diameter. So even if you happen to have a smaller hook like this one, for example, this is a 5 16 you can still get that on it and off it with uh, relative ease. And if you happen to have a little bit larger hook, this one is uh, says 3 8 on it, a little bit bigger. It's even easier, but you know, these aren't too small that uh, even a larger hook would be too big, if that makes sense. So I am a fan uh, of these here, and we'll just compare here. I'll get this one out of the way. The B&W has a very similar design. Um, if I'm being honest, I like it a little bit better. Um, these drop in. and you rotate them and they come down like that. My thought is, uh, you know, when you go to pull it out, it you have a little more leverage there if you need it. If it does get hung up in there or something for whatever reason, as to where the Reese, you know, you just have these little 
tabs you grab to, to release that. So um, just trying to foresee, you know, look a little bit further into the future and, and um, when you get grime and stuff in here, how easy is this stuff going to be to operate? So uh, like the B&W a little bit better and it has a, a good profile on it as well for the larger hooks and the smaller ones will work just fine. So you kind of get the best of both worlds there. And for the Kurt, the Kurt ones are extremely stout. I mean, these things are super heavy duty. They're gonna work just fine, but you are gonna have a couple extra parts and pieces to keep track of. So um, if you find yourself misplacing stuff all the time, this might not be the best solution for you, but they drop in, rotate it, put your pin in there, and this other pin, that's going to keep it locked down. Now with these, are, they're so stout, um, the larger hooks won't have any issues going around it, you know. But the smaller ones are really tight fit. I'm not even going to snap that in because it's super difficult to get off. So if you end up going with the Kurt kit, uh, make sure that you have... You know, fairly decent sized hooks on your trailer, uh, just to make life a little bit easier on you. Aside from that, there's really not a whole lot to these kits. You know, this one's going to come with both your safety chain openings and the ball, so you'll have what you need to hook your trailer up and pull it down the road. Um, they give you a little plug too, so if you happen to lose your, your factory one or uh, whatever, you know, you always have a, a backup or a spare. And pretty easy to take in and out, actually, too. Those factory ones are kind of a pain sometimes, so I'd probably end up using this if it were me. But that is your call. And they give you a soft carrying case, too, which is a nice touch. You know, when you're not using this, you got a place to put it, keep it out of the way and organized and, and everything else. But um, other than that, pretty decent kit and one that'll get the job done. But with all that in mind, I think that'll about do it for our look at of the Reese. Uh, gooseball kit for trucks with the factory prep package on our 2024 GMC Sierra 2500.